Hello, this is the first easy pack I'm gonna release and this pack contains some nodes which deals with isolating values and also some other nodes which uh, I deal with uh, shrinking down common patterns into a simplified node. So let's uh, look at them. Quite often in Designer I have to apply some noise on top of a uniform color node and I do this by using a blend node and also a noise node and also the uniform color node but uh, managing this pattern is a bit um, cumbersome because the parameters for adjusting the visual appearance is separated between two or potential three nodes. To adjust the color I have to click on the uniform color node and to adjust the strength of uh, the pigmentation that comes from the noise texture I have to use the blend node. Another method I sometimes use is to combine a uniform color node with a HSL and use a lightness slider on the HSL to adjust the uh, darkness or strength of the uh, pigmentation texture. But this creates the same problem. The uh, parameters are still separated between many nodes and this becomes a bit of a hassle to manage. However, a benefit in this pattern is that I don't have to switch the blending mode on the blend node, I just have to adjust the uh, sliders on the HSL node itself. And also the color of the HSL node stays relative to the uniform color that comes before. But then you gotta keep in mind the optimization of the graph as well. You need to put the uniform color nodes to 16 by 16 and the blend node has to be set to relative to parent for it to have the actual graph size. So it's not really relative to the input anymore. So it just becomes a lot of clicks and uh, a lot of work to just get it to work properly. So for this purpose I created the node EC uniform color. And in the future this will be renamed and put into another pack called Improved. But for now this is in the East pack. The Easy Uniform Color node combines the uh, color parameters and also the luminosity opacity of the noise that is plugged into the inputs and also th it has uh, a couple of blend nodes which is um, Multiply, Screen and Color. And the color is something I'm working on myself. It's, it's supposed to target the mid-tones of the image and keeps the dark and high values. It also has a ignore luminosity value output, so you can just look at the base color that is fed into it. So essentially what this node does is uh, making it way faster to just create this pattern and also it uh, combines all the common parameters uh, inside one uh, instance parameter window. The next node is the EC add and sub node and this is kind of similar to the EC uh, uniform color node, but uh, this is useful if you have a an actual texture coming in, they want to combine um, or add noise on top of the texture. So it's not just a uniform color, it's an actual texture coming in. So you're kind of combining two noise textures. And uh, doing this is also a bit cumbersome. You need to add the blend node and also you need to set the blending mode, which is uh, by, by standard set to copy and that is kind of inconvenient. You need to switch it to either add or sub or even uh, screen or multiply. And to switch between the subtraction or addition to the values, you need to actually switch the blending mode. And uh, that is also a bit inconvenient. So for the uh, easy add and sub node, you simply just connect the values and then you have a slider instead, which is essentially does the same thing. It adds and also subtracts the value from the bottom layer. But on this node, you don't have to switch the blend mode. You just have to drag the power slider. The node also has a use colored overlay, so if you enable that, we get a new pin on the node which you can connect uh, colored overlay nodes on it. So then you're just uh, you're just adding the colors of the uh, the uh, overlay node on top of the um, base color node. Similarly, there is a easy multiply and screen node, and you can switch between the screen and multiply behavior with a toggle button. And also, it has the opacity slider in there, so it's pretty easy to just combine some noise textures and so on with uh, this node. The next node is the EC Isolate Value node, and this node allows you to select very specific color ranges within the connected texture. So you can select the value you want to target and also the tolerance, so you select um, a range around the specific uh, value. And also you can ex or exaggerate the exposure of the selected values or uh, expose the uh, other unselected values. So then you can more easily create masks and so on. And you can do some interesting stuff with this node, particularly with uh, 
gradients and so on. But also if you have a more complex texture and you want to create like a layer or as a little layer of that uh, height map for instance, you can also use this node to select a very specific layer of the uh, connected height map. So often I feel the need to tile the textures inside designer and uh, the most easy way to do this with the standard designer tools is with a transformation 2D node. And this node is really good for many purposes. You can you have the like the uh, multiplication or the division button to increase or decrease the scale, or you have the handles and the transformation tools. So this is really convenient in many ways. But if you just want to tile the textures, there is uh, the easy tile node, and this is uh, very easy for the specific task. So it's a bit more quicker than the transformation node. And also it just gives you the basic tools. You have a slider for setting the multiplication factor, and also you can use floats if you want to, or integers.